Welcome back to FAIR TV. I'm Janine Jackson. Fox News Channel's coverage of the police killing of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri was bad, but it managed to get worse the night it was announced that Officer Darren Wilson would not be indicted. Some hosts, like Sean Hannity, were happy to declare Barack Obama the loser. 0 oh, for 3, a three-time yeah. loser, President Obama, on high-profile yeah, race uh... cases. But the main lesson on Fox was that the real bad guy in this story was Michael Brown. You're, you're treating Michael Brown like he was a squeaky clean kid I'm, minding his no, own business. I'm treating he had Michael just Brown committed a robbery. Like he's a human the witness being. testimony no, is that he attacked being. a police officer I, we're all aware of what and the, went what the for his gun. Is. Every time Mr. Brown is, is described, he's just described as a young man, and pe people forget he had committed a robbery. Mm -hmm. Michael Brown that day stole stuff from a little convenience store and then roughed up the owner who was half his size. Michael Brown then thought he would get away with, according to the grand jury, with roughing up a cop. He brought about his own demise. But the bad person in this case was Michael Brown. And that's something you will not hear from most reporters because it's politically not correct and they never feel comfortable. They always say they want an honest discussion about race. They don't. They want a politically correct discussion about race. That's an excellent point. That's Fox being Fox, of course, but there are real problems with the way more respectable news organizations cover police violence, often employing euphemisms that deflect from the reality of the problem, like the USA Today article about the shooting of 12-year-old Tamir Rice in Cleveland that referred to a continued nationwide focus on police incidents. Or look at the so-called paper of record, the New York Times, which had two high-profile police killings to cover. After an officer shot and killed a Kai Gurley in the stairwell of a housing project, one Times article adopted what might be considered a poetic approach, telling readers that the lives of two young men separated in age by a single year collided amid the faint shadows of the stairwell. There was a different problem with a Times story about the grand jury's failure to indict the police officer Daniel Pantaleo, who choked and killed Eric Garner. That attack was, of course, captured in a harrowing video, one that, in time speak, seemed to show Officer Pantaleo using a chokehold. Well, there's no seemed to necessary here, but the language the Times uses gets even more passive and strange when the paper tells us that Garner was physically resisting arrest by several officers, including Officer Pantaleo, whose arm finds its way around the struggling man's neck. The paper says that one of Officer Pantaleo's arms moved around Mr. Garner's neck, and then the men toppled to the ground, but the arm around Mr. Garner's neck did not appear to move. You'd think the arm around Eric Garner's neck had a mind of its own. Well, finally, a trailer for an upcoming movie is not usually the kind of thing journalists consider big news, unless it's a trailer for a new Star Wars movie, and if that movie is being produced by your parent company. ABC World News has devoted two segments to the Star Wars teaser so far. On November 28th, the newscast told us that people were flocking to theaters to get a peek. As correspondent Nick Wad explained near the end of the piece, The movie doesn't open until December next year. This is only going to intensify. Nick Wad, ABC News, Hollywood. As indeed it would, a few days later in fact. Watt and ABC World News were back on the big story, giving viewers some guidance on the secrets revealed in the movie commercial. Well, Watt sort of waved it all off with this. Are we all overthinking this? Yes. And that's okay. We're supposed to. Actually, some of us have a different idea of what journalism is supposed to do. I'm Janine Jackson. Thanks for watching Fair TV.